I'm Miss Haven from Genie Academy, and today we're going to be looking at addition, subtraction, and also how to approach different addition and subtraction word problems. We're going to be starting with a little practice with adding and subtracting numbers. In our examples, we're going to see that there's numbers a little bit larger than 100, and that there's also multiple numbers we have to add and subtract. This will be a good test to see if your child remembers how to regroup numbers. Let's try an addition problem first. Whenever we're in class, left to right is a little difficult to do such large addition and subtraction. So I always have my students line their numbers up based on their place value. So here we have 900 and, ooh, 987 plus 345 plus 78. We have to add our seven, five, and eight, which gives us 20. That means our zero goes below our numbers and we're gonna carry our two. Next, we have to add up the numbers in our tens place. Two plus eight is 10, plus seven is 17, plus four gives us 21. One is gonna go below our answer and we're gonna carry our two. Next, we have to add nine plus two, we get 11, plus three is 14. So our answer for this problem would be 1,410. Now let's try a subtraction problem. I typically see a lot of students have forgotten how to regroup or borrow, so this is a good test of that skill. 1,000 minus 999. Since we have nine underneath all of our zeros, we know that we need to borrow all the way from our thousands place. So we're gonna borrow one and we're gonna carry it over but we still have two more place values that need to borrow. So we're gonna borrow from our 10 and get nine. We have 10 in our tens place, and we need to borrow one more time. So we're gonna borrow one from our 10, once again we have nine, and we carry our one. Now, we have 10 minus nine in our ones place, which gives us one. In our tens place, we have nine minus nine, which gives us zero. In our hundreds place, we have nine minus nine, which also gives us zero. So that means our answer for this problem would just be one. Take some time, have your student align all of their values before they start adding and subtracting. This is a really important step to help them complete the problems correctly and efficiently. Next, we're gonna take a look at how to complete addition and subtraction word problems. On our next page, we're gonna work on a word problem. It reads, Mr. Mohit has 1,500 Math Genie stickers. So that is our starting point. Have your child write that on their paper. Then it says he gives 783 stickers to the students. If we're giving something away, are we gonna be adding or subtracting to our value? If we're giving something away, we are subtracting. So we know that is the operation we have to complete. So we have our starting point of 1,500, subtracting 783. And our goal is to find out how many stickers are left. Now that we have our problem lined up on our paper, let's work on it. To start off, we need to do zero minus three, but we can't do that because zero is less than three, so we know we have to borrow. We're gonna go to our five and borrow one, which is gonna give us four. We're gonna carry our one over to our tens place, and we need to borrow one more time into our ones place. So we're gonna cross out our 10, make it a nine, and carry our one over. Now we are all ready to subtract. 10 minus three is seven, nine minus eight is one, and now we have a little bit of a problem. We have four minus seven. We can't do four minus seven because four is less than seven. So we have to borrow from our thousands place. We borrow one from our one, which gives us zero, and now we have 14 minus seven, which is perfect, and we have seven as our answer. So how many stickers are left? 717 stickers are left. Your child might be able to do a lot of these operations mentally, but make sure that they write out their work. It's important that they have these basic skills solidified because soon the problems are gonna get more difficult and we don't want them to have trouble showing their work at that time. Let's try another operation. Let's see if we can find one that's completing with addition. Let's take a look. Let's look at number four. It says there are 678 birds flying together. So that is our starting point. They join a group of 490 birds. How many birds are there all together? The best keyword there is all together. 
that tells us we need to add. So we have our original group that has 678 birds plus the group they join, which is 490. Once again, you could see I lined up my numbers based on their place value. This is very important to adding and subtracting properly. So now we're gonna add from the right to the left. Eight plus zero is eight. Seven plus nine is 16. So we bring our six down, carry the one. Then one plus six is seven, plus four is 11. How many birds are there all together? 1,168 birds. And those are word problems with addition and subtraction. And remember, every day, in every way, you are getting better and better. This video was part of Genie Academy's Common Core Resources. Subscribe down below for more videos just like this one. In the description box, we also have the links to free downloadable worksheets and assessments. We can help you discover the genius your child was born to be. Plus four is, let's take a look, 13. Wait, no, I'm sorry, 11. <laughs> 11.